Today on the Treyhard channel, I'll be talking about riboflavin. Stick around. Welcome to the Treyhard channel. I am Ray Upchur, your host. This is the seventh part of the Essential Vitamin and Mineral series. Riboflavin, also known as vitamin B2, is a water-soluble vitamin. As such, it has the same water-soluble properties as all the other water-soluble vitamins that I've talked about in the past videos. Riboflavin is an essential part of two major coenzymes. These coenzymes play a major role in energy production, cellular function, growth, development, and metabolism of fats, drugs, and steroids. So, what are the symptoms of riboflavin deficiency? Fortunately, in the United States and other developed countries, riboflavin deficiency is very rare. But, when it does occur, the signs and symptoms can include skin disorders, excess blood, known as hyperemia, edema of the mouth and throat, lesions in the corner of the mouth, swollen cracked lips, hair loss, reproductive symptoms, or reproductive problems, I should say, sore throat, itchy and red eyes, and degeneration of the liver and nervous system. The groups most at risk of riboflavin deficiency includes vegetarian athletes, pregnant or lactating women that rarely consume meats or dairy products, people who are vegan and or consume little meat, people with infantile brown valedo van Leer syndrome. So the recommended daily allowance of riboflavin for children between zero to six months is 0 0.3 milligrams, and for children between 7 to 12 months is 0.4 milligrams. The recommended intake for children 1 to 3 years old is 0.5 milligrams. And for children 4 to 8 years old is 0.6 milligrams. For 9 to 13 years old is 0.9 milligrams. And for adolescents from 14 to 18 years old it's 1.3 milligrams for males. And 1 milligram for females unless they are pregnant then it's 1.4 or if they're lactating, it's 1.6. Finally, for individuals that are 19 and older, it's 1.3 milligram for males and 1.1 milligram for females, which goes up to 1.4 if they're pregnant or 1.6 if they're lactating. Fortunately, it's very easy to get riboflavin in your diet. Some of the best sources includes eggs, organ meats, lean meats, milk, green vegetables, grains, and fortified cereals. The top 10 list of foods with riboflavin are beef skirt steak with 112% the daily recommended value per six ounce, fortified tofu, which is 76% per cup, low fat milk, which is 69% per 16 ounce glass, salmon with 64% per six ounce, Mushrooms with 38% per cook cup, lean pork chops with 35% per 6 ounce, chopped spinach with 33% per cup, that's cooked that is, almonds with 25% per 1 ounce, avocados with an average of 20% per avocado, and eggs with 20% per 1 large egg. As far as side effects go, there are no known side effects for the excess intake of riboflavin because like other water-soluble vitamins, the excess is excreted. However, the Food and Nutrition Board does not, recommended, does not recommend taking riboflavin in excess. So, how do you get your riboflavin? Let me know in the comments below. If you have liked this video, please press the like button below. And if you are not a current subscriber, please subscribe. Remember, your health is your wealth and you are worth it. I will see you next time. Bye for now.